Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Off The Mark, the cricket show, the show where we bring to you all the bizarre, controversial and amusing things that happen in this beautiful game that we call cricket. However, <clears throat> today we have some rather unfortunate news for you all. Um, yeah, well look, it's not the best, but you see, Nuan and I, we can't, can't be bothered with all of this cricket show stuff now. I mean, there's really nothing for us to do. I mean, with exams and stuff around the corner, well, I think it's honestly time to say goodbye with this. I mean, as of today, this will be the last episode of Off Mark. Yep. Never again will you see our fair and loudly faces ever again. Well, my face is fair and loudly. I, I can't say the same for Nuan. We kind of contrast each other. But... Shut up, man. Look, but look, in all seriousness, guys, this is the end of the journey for us. Um, look, sorry about the delay with this episode, too. You know, we're being swamped with exam revision and all. Uh, things are getting hectic and everything. But, yep, no more Off the Mark. All right, all right, we're kidding, guys. We're kidding. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not leaving you at all. We're planning a few big, big changes to yeah. our show over the summer. Uh, the feedback we've been getting from you guys is that the content is good and that you guys like our episodes, but they're just far too long. Hence the low views and the fact that many of you can't be bothered sitting there for twenty minutes of the show, which is fair mm -hmm. enough. And we we understand this. Yeah, so, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, to rectify this, um, we're going to create our own YouTube channel for Off the Mark. Um, we'll be taking all our old episodes, chopping up all the segments, and we'll be creating little like three, four, five minute videos of our stuff, so it'll be easier for you all to um, view everything. Yep, and hopefully this works out, but we'll be trying this over the summer. So with that, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Yeah. So, and also we also have to uh, thank a special someone for helping us with our show in the past few weeks. Have tremendous help, that's right. Yeah. A special shout out to Ravi Wickaram Wicker Ratnik. Was that, was that correct? <laughs> Almost. Almost? Oh, damn. <laughs> anyway, this bloke has been an absolute legend for us. He's, he's a pretty pretty talented cricketer himself, yeah. I must say. He plays Premier Cricket for KC South Melbourne, which is no mean feat, I guess. That's quite mm. difficult. Mm. Thanks to Ravi, who has got good connections with many current and past Australian cricketers, as well as some Sri Lankan cricketers. We may actually get the opportunity, we may get the opportunity this summer to yeah. meet and greet and interview a few international it's figures. Not, yeah. But nonetheless, we're absolutely in in your debt, Ravi, for supporting us and setting us up. So thank you with the opportunity. We really, really, yes. really appreciate it. Yep. Well, so, okay, so on to today's show. It's a, it's a short episode this week. Um, there's not much to talk about apart from Sri Lanka's terrible outing in that 2020 yeah, uh, yeah. Cricket World <laughs> Cup final. That was so That was, cold, that was pretty funny. That was so bad. That was pretty bad, yeah. Ah, uh, well, but that's all we're, really, that's all we're going to cover this week. What's up? What's wrong? Park my car in your neighbor's are you, are you, Why? Out. Are you retarded? I, I don't, oh, I just realised, oh, no, quick, go, just, just, go. just give, just give me just one second. Give me just one go. second. Just go. Well, anyway, while he's gone, look, to put it simply, our, our shows are too long and we're going to trial this new episode thing where we're going to cut them into segments, as Nuan said, and with that, we'll have more recurring videos rather than a video every two weeks. So you'll have maybe two, three videos a week. And when summer comes around, with both of us on holidays, we'll have a lot more videos, a lot of content to cover. So we hope you really enjoy it. So, yeah. Cricket's great all around us. Well, no one's ditched me again, as usual. I mean, the excuses that kid comes up with all the time. I mean, who parks their car in someone else's driveway? I mean, Shalangans, they just can't do anything right. From parking a damn car, they're winning a World Cup final. Every time they get it wrong. I mean, the past four times they got it wrong. Speaking of World Cup finals gone wrong for Sri Lankans, we have a man from the opposite side, the man, the soul of Jamaica, the soul of West Indies, the brother of Chris Gale. Mr. Deshaun Gale, please, come on down. It's, a, yeah, it's, man. it's an absolute... It's uh, great to have you back. It's good to be back, man. Good to be back. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a pleasure to have you back. I mean, we haven't had you back for a long time. We haven't had a good chat with you for a while. Um, so, you must be a very happy man, I guess. Yeah, man. Look, it's great to be back. It's great to be back. It's been a long, long time. It has. Yeah. <laughs> we we, we apologise for that. We've just had other people to interview more important than you. But, um, look, you must be a very happy man. You must be a proud man, excited these days after what's happened. What? Oh, yeah, man. Of course I'm proud. Rastafari. <laughs> Power to the people, black power! <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the World Cup final, we're not a black rights rally. Oh, sorry man, but you told me. You told me to get excited, so we're getting excited. Dude, don't you remember the, the West Indies won the World Cup final like last week? Oh yes man! <laughs> the World Cup final! That's what oh, I'm talking, yes, what I'm talking man. about. The one your beloved West ah, Indies won. That's right, you know. I remember that game, you know, that was, I was so happy that no, day. Cool. I'm glad you remember. I was so happy, it was a good night, you know, I felt so proud to be a Jamaican and a West Indian, you know. I was wearing maroon all day early. 
Oh, I can imagine you're still wearing maroon, but uh, take worry. us through the match, Deshaun. How, how, how did you see them fall? Well, you know, man, see, before the match, I was thinking, you know, because me thinking a lot, I think all the time, me thinking, me thinking that we you know West Indies is gonna lose because Sri Lanka so good, you know. You know, they're the favorites. But when Samuel's batted and Narayan got the wickets, you know, things got better. And then they, then they start winning and things get crazy, man. We're celebrating, it was a good time, you know. <laughs> well, what was your reaction when your brother got out, Chris Gale? Were, were you happy that he, that he couldn't be the hero for the West News? Or were you sad that the, at the greater cause that the West News were going to be under a lot of pressure because their star batsman was gone? Well, you know, I was actually, <laughs> I was actually laughing, man. <laughs> You're a terrible Yeah, see, Chris Gale, he played like a little mama's boy. He only made three runs of 16 deliveries in face, man. I was thinking, I was thinking, I played a test match, man. It's not 2020. But yeah, I was laughing because me don't want to be in this position, no way. <laughs> but he's your brother, I mean. Okay. What did you, that didn't even make sense to me. How can you say that about, oh well. Anyway, the whole Caribbean, including you, must have been worried when the West Indies were 3 for 32 after 10 overs. It's a pretty shocking start in the 20th. Well, yeah, I told them when I was in Jamaica at the time, and we were working on a TV screen, not blinking. Sri Lanka bowling, well, made this cake in the wicket, and you know, including Chris Gale. So yeah, me worried, man. We were very upset at the time. We thought it was all over. I mean, I, I guess, but it was however that point that Marlon Samuels walked out and he batted out of his skin and took the West Indies to a really, really strong position and Molina got absolutely hammered. I mean, his four overs conceded a ridiculous 54 runs. So what did you think of that? Because Malinga's generally the main man for Sri Lanka. Did you have any idea that he was going to be targeted like this? <laughs> yeah, man. You see, someone, someone, he... He can definitely bat, you know. He from Jamaica as well, like me. So me thinking it running the blood. But yeah, man, you know when that sexy Rasta started blasting my leg, I was thinking, yeah, crazy man. Is my leg gonna bowl you up? But you know, but but someone's keep batting and my leg keep bowling, and then he miss smashing him around the ground, man. We are thinking they are crazy bag of bones, but no, he batted him. He batted, he didn't six us, smashing him everywhere. You know, he the best Jamaican batsman I've seen in a long time. And thank God he bring us home, man. He was, he was a hero for us, man. He was so good, so good. Okay. Mm. I don't understand this anymore. Just say it, but... What were your thoughts on Sri Lanka's batting in the final? <laughs> the Sri Lankans, the Sri Lankans, <laughs> apart from Jawadina, they all play like little mama's boys. I seen a baboon bat better than them. <laughs> you like the phrase mama's boys, but anyway. <laughs> Ravi Rampal's first ball to Dilshan, that was absolutely unplayable. That was awesome. Yeah man, you know, he bowled well, he set the tone for the rest of the game. You know, Narayan bowled like a champion, he got a lot of spin on the wicket. I was very happy, very, very happy with the performance. Well, finally, to wrap things up, because we have a short episode today, what do you make of the West Indies victory? Do you think they're going to eventually rise up to be the world number one team, or is this just something that's just come out of nowhere, that's been a fluke, and they're going to crash down again? Well, you know, man, it's this difficult to see. I mean, first of all, winning the World Cup has been a blessing for the Caribbean, you know. Everyone in Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad, all the islands were very, very proud to be a West Indian, very proud to be Jamaican. So I think with a bit of time, they'll get better and eventually get up there. I hope they do, I hope they do. Thanks for that. And just one thing I'd like to take up with you. You constantly say to us that you're better than Chris Gunn. You actually oh, yeah, coached man. him. That's what you told us in our first episode. Um, have you yeah, man. Given, you've given us no evidence of this. Can you? Look, man, I am the best bassman in the Caribbean. I'm the best bassman in Jamaica. They just don't see my talent, man. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, look, at one stage we're going to get a ball and you're going to get a bat and we're going to sort this out. So when that day comes, I hope that you've been telling the truth because well, if don't you worry, haven't, man. you're in big trouble, buddy. I make Chris Gale look like a baboon, don't worry. Baboons and mama's balls. That's the only thing that comes out of your mouth. Well, anyway, thanks for that. No worries, man. Really appreciate you coming down for our last ever show. No worries. Uh, we hope to have you again in I'll some capacity. Around. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. Take it easy, take it easy. You too. Stay safe. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, that was our last ever episode, per se, of Off The Mark. Yep, that's the last of the massive 20 minute episodes we'll be doing again. Well, so. Obviously, today wasn't 20 minutes. It's well, <laughs> 10. 10. But, um, yeah, look, we really appreciate all of you that have followed us from the beginning, hmm. six episodes in. Um, we've decided to change and yeah. we hope the change is for the better and we yes. hope you're there to support us. Yes, we'll be uh, starting a new, um, like we said, YouTube channel. Uh, all the videos are going to be shorter, so hopefully like you guys can you know, watch them whenever you want. They're not too long and boring. Um, yeah, and as one of my friends said, Kishore, he actually said that he used to put aside Helen and your mother episodes to watch our show. Yeah. Which I guess is a huge honor to be replacing Helen and your mother. <laughs> 
but that, then again, that could be saying something about the script, with the fact they're in season eight and they just haven't found out who the mother is. That's irrelevant. <laughs> but yeah, we hope you guys are around to see the new format. Yes. Um, we'll be back after our exams in roughly yes. two weeks. We'll keep you guys busy then by posting up a bit of our old, old stuff, stuff in yeah. smaller segments, so yeah. three to four minute segments, so you can check them out whenever you want. Mm -hmm. um, our YouTube channel will be www.youtube.com forward slash off the market Not cricket. cricket. Uh, that's all one word, no yes. hyphens, no dodgy hectic threes or lead speak, whatever. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, um, we hope you guys are around for yes. that. So yes, be, be sure to check it out. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's about we're, it. We're really sad. <laughs> we'll be back, don't worry. We'll, we'll be back and better. Don't be, be better. We'll be better. We'll, well, he'll he'll go to an English therapy <laughs> class first, and then we'll be back. You're the one that needs to learn English. You went too far. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. What the hell are you doing, man? You're trying to kill me or something. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? You're crazy. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? You're crazy. You're trying to kill me or something. What are you doing? You're pretty bad. You're pretty good. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? You're crazy. What are you doing? You're bowling, probably. What the hell? What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing?